Hey everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry and I'm back with day 28 of one month in my bullet journal. It is crazy to me that this is the last video of one month in my bullet journal this time around. I feel like this month just vanished <laughs> into thin air, but here we are Thursday, February 28th. And I just realized I'm not wearing my watch or my rings. I look so, so bare. <laughs> right now but I just got out of the shower got done getting ready it is about eight o'clock in the morning which is a little bit earlier than I like to start my videos in the morning but today is a big big day because I am going to California I'm so excited um as far as everything yesterday I got everything I wanted to get done done my announcement for the meetup is in progress. <laughs> I've been working on the graphics and everything for it. So I'm hoping to announce that at the beginning of next week, but I'm just going to set up for today. And it's actually going to be kind of a long weekend setup. So I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of planning while I'm in San Francisco. So instead of setting up a daily page, I'm just going to set up a page with all the pertinent information that I want to have on hand while I'm traveling. So I'm just going to title this San Francisco and it's going to be really simple. I'm going to have some not super detailed <laughs> flight information. Honestly, I find that, well, let me put it this way. I used to put super detailed flight information and tracking and all that into my bullet journal when I traveled. And what I found is for the most part, I don't really look at it. I just look at my travel apps that I have on my phone. So like I fly Delta, so I use the Delta app to check my flights, like flight numbers, times, all that sort of thing. And I found what really helps me the most is just to have a timeline of events in my journal. So today is Thursday. February 28th. Still can't believe it's the 28th. <laughs> I am going to be flying. My flight leaves at 1 p.m. 1 <laughs> p.m. If I can write today. And I arrive in San Francisco at 6.50 p.m. And those are both local times. So 1 p.m. Eastern, 6.50 p.m. Pacific. I'm just going to put flight to San Francisco. And then I do like to have the hotel information. So I'm going to write that in here. And then last but not least, I want to have an outline of everything that's going on this weekend or everything that I'm attending. Let's put it that way. There are a ton ton of workshops available at PlannerCon this year and they sent out registration. You can only register for three workshops. So those are the only three I'm going to write down here. But then there's also some other cool and awesome things happening this weekend. So let's go with Friday, March 1st, 1130 AM is VIP registration. And then from 1 to 2.30, we have a VIP luncheon. Oh, shopping opens at 6 p.m. That's important because obviously I need more planner supplies. <laughs> Y'all have seen my craft storage, right? If not, I'll post a picture in here and you'll see why I'm laughing at needing more planner supplies. All right, and then last but not least on Friday, what I'm probably most excited about all weekend is from 7 to 11 p.m. is planner prom. I'm so excited about planner prom. It's going to be 
awesome. I'm not sure exactly what's involved in planner prom, but I'm just excited to put on a pretty dress and go down with my planner supplies and see what happens at planner prom. It just sounds so fun. All right, and then Saturday is the biggest day of all. Saturday, March 2nd. Uh, everything kicks off at 8.30 in the morning, which I know, it seems really early to me too. <laughs> but they do have a lot, a lot to squeeze in to this three-day weekend here. All right, so kickoff is at 8.30. Uh, my first workshop is at 10.30. And I chose the Achieving Planner Peace workshop with Franklin Planner. I have never attended a Franklin uh, presentation at PlannerCon, and I hear that they are awesome. So I'm going to check that out. And then, let's see, I don't have written down what time lunch is, but lunch will be in there somewhere. <laughs> and then my afternoon workshop on Saturday is at 1.45. If, uh, I cannot write today. 1.45 p.m. and it is a bullet journal workshop with one of my favorites, uh, Nicole. Nicole is from Plans That Blossom on Instagram and she is freaking awesome. She's a total sweetheart. I've met her a couple times. She came out to my Boho Berry meetup last year. We saw each other in Charlotte in January again and hung out there and yeah, she's just an all-around cool chick amazing artist Her bullet journal spreads are incredible. Uh, I'll definitely link her Instagram down below for you, but she is just I love her to pieces All right, and then last but not least on Saturday There's gonna be a planathon on Saturday night again. Not really sure what that entails I'm assuming it's just you plan for as long as you can, <laughs> like a marathon, planathon, you know, maybe I'm wrong, <laughs> but it is from 10 p.m. to midnight. Planathon, that's going to be awesome. And then we're moving on to Sunday, Sunday, March 3rd. Again, we have an 8.30 a.m. kickoff. And doo -doo -doo, my third workshop that I signed up for is at 11 a.m. And it's a creative business workshop with Alex and Kayla from Oh Hello. Another awesome couple and good friends of mine. They've worked with me on a few products for the Boho Berry Box. They're just super amazing people and I just love any of their workshops that they host. So I'm excited to attend that. And then that's gonna wrap it up for me. PlannerCon ends at 5 p.m. Unfortunately, I when I was booking my flights, I didn't realize how late everything was going to run on Sunday. So I'm actually flying out. I want to say it's like 2.30 or 3 o'clock. So right after this workshop, I'm going to hightail it to the airport and get back on the plane back home. But that is going to be my entire setup for San Francisco. I know it's not pretty or frilly or anything like that, but this is just what I need to kind of give me an overview of my weekend, something I can refer to without having to dig into my email and all that sorts of stuff to find out all of this information. I just have it all on one page, easy access. And little tip, one thing I like to do when I'm traveling and I have my travel spread set up, so I have kind of my itinerary of the weekend or whatever it is, I like to snap a picture of this with my phone. That way I don't even have to pull out my bullet journal from my bag if I'm in the airport or whatever, trying to find an address or uh, in the hotel trying to figure out what time I'm supposed to be where. I just can pull up that picture on my phone and it's really, really easy. And if you wanna go a step further with that, 
Uh, you can even add that photo as the background or your home screen on your phone so that you don't even have to unlock your phone. You can just peek at it to see what's coming up next. So that's a really fun thing to do. All right, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this up. I have to hurry, hurry, hurry to get this video edited and out to you guys. Um, I am gonna do a little bit of filming while I'm at PlannerCon this weekend, especially because I'm not presenting. I feel like I'm gonna be a little more free to go around and kind of capture uh, what it's like to be there. So I'm going to do a little filming there and I'll try to put a little video together when I get back next week. So you guys will have that as well. Uh, I hope you all have a great and amazing weekend. If you have any questions, comments, as always, drop them down below. I'm more than happy to join in the conversation down there and I'll see you soon. Bye y'all.